Hey, your kids aren't fun today. We're drawing a woodpecker, right, Papa? We sure are, Jane. Why do they do that, Papa? Rattling against the trees like that. Well, they do it for a bunch of reasons. One thing is they peck to get food, but they also peck holes in the wood to make a little nest home. Here we go. I'm drawing the top of his head. He's standing, or actually clinging, to the side of a tree. So there's his back and his feathers of his wings that are folded in as he's grabbing onto the tree and pecking away. Okay, and we're going up to his beak. They have very, very powerful beaks because, of course, they have to knock holes in wood. And they really do. They dig a whole hole in the tree, or your house sometimes, so that they can get inside and live there. And their heads and their necks are very powerful, and they go very fast. I don't know if you've heard them, but they can peck like a mile a minute. All right, the shapes of his eye and the patterns on his head. They have some beautiful patterns on their feathers, and that's what we're drawing now. We'll color them slightly different shades of gray and bluish gray. Those are the feathers, the layers of feathers, and now his little feet that are grabbing on. They've got strong feet with strong claws that can just cling to the tree. If you're finding it difficult doing this much detail, then print out a copy from the link below. Then you can keep up with us better. Absolutely right, Jane. I want everybody to not be frustrated trying to keep up. If there's too much detail for you, print out a copy, and then you can just color with us. I'm off, as usual. I'm racing ahead. We're doing a dark, actually a kind of blackish color for the designs up around there, but we're going to get a little bit lighter, a little lighter gray color for parts of the wings. We're doing the feet dark color, a pretty red head. It's a red-headed woodpecker. Now the little gray color around the eyes and that part of the head. Get their little parts of it correct. You want to make it look kind of realistic. And now we're going to finish up with the bark of the tree. And when we do, we'll have drawn a red-headed woodpecker trying to make himself a home. Subscribe to our channel and come back soon. Thanks for watching.